We both started crying and shaking because we knew what was about to happen. We hear our father's angry voice breaking the silence. Who took them? Who took them? They are candy missing. Who took them? My siblings and I were sitting in the middle of our living room watching TV. I looked at my sisters. She looked horrified, and I immediately knew it was her. And then he asked again, who took them? If the person who took them won't answer, you will all get in big trouble. All of you hear me? I didn't want like, my sister to get hurt. I knew I could handle my own pain and I could deal with that suffering, but I would not be able to see her suffer. That moment, I just got up and I said, I took the candy. The moment I said it was me, he just pulled me by my hair and started dragging me all the way to the bathroom and screaming and shouting, bring me the gasoline, bring me the gasoline or I'll burn you all. He like threw me on the bathroom floor, poured, started putting like paper between my toes and eventually lit me on fire. I was like crying so loudly and shaking. I was horrified. I was there with my body, but it felt like, is this really me? Is this really happening? Why would my father do such a thing to me? His body was physically there, but his mind and his spirit were not there. It felt like the seconds that were like sitting there and like on fire, just felt like an eternity to me. I honestly felt like I won't make it alive. And I, I passed out. I never really had a childhood, nor did I know how it felt like to live in a happy, healthy environment. For the first 12 years of my life, like my father replaced love and nourishment with like brutality and violence. And that's all I remember. I don't remember a moment when I was actually having a beautiful, loving interaction with my father. And even though the, the physical abuse stopped when I was like 12 years old, because that's when my father died, I somehow continued to abuse myself emotionally and mentally simply because there were like so much pain in, in my life and so much past that I was carrying into the present moment. And I just did, didn't know how to heal those wounds and how to deal with all that pain. When I was a kid, I was thinking that probably my father was treating me the way he was treating me because there was something wrong with me. Because how can you treat your own child like that? There has to be something wrong. I kind of continued to think that I wasn't a valuable human being and I crafted my life based on that belief. And as a result, I started attracting in my life all kind of people and experiences who proved me that I was right and that I allowed them to like kind of make me less or more valuable based on how they were treating me. Believe it or not, we are so attached to the, our own pain and our own struggles that we keep those struggles to keep us away from actually moving forward with our lives. And I just felt like I couldn't do it anymore. And I remember waking up one night and I was like sweating and I started crying and I realized that I can't do this anymore. I can't live like this anymore. There has to be a better way. And everything for me changed the moment I decided to make a commitment to myself to let go of all the things that were holding me back, to let go of my past, to let go of judgment of toxicity thinking, to let go of resentment, the need to like control people, and the attachment to all that pain. And in that moment, I just had this real realization that what if my father treated me the way he did, not because I was unworthy, but because there was so much pain accumulating in his life, and because he didn't know how to deal with that pain, he like started spilling over. The more I kind of like open up to this idea of accepting what happened and looking for the meaning, it was easier for me to actually open all the closet and look at all my skeletons. And even though it was scary and like to kind of give them a hug because by doing so you actually realize that you're like fierce and like your worst enemy, they become your best friends and they teach you valuable lessons. How people treat you doesn't have to determine how you treat yourself. I wasn't unworthy and there was nothing wrong with me and that if people treated me unkindly, it didn't have anything to do with me. And if until that moment, I didn't know any better and I allowed them to like make me feel less valuable, now it's the moment for me to take responsibility and to look at all those experiences differently and to ask people to treat me the way I want to be treated. Nobody will help me if I don't help myself and that my salvation will not come from the outside. When you let go of the old, you make room for the new. You are able to tap into something that is so beautiful and it's so unique. There's a beautiful quote from Buddha that goes like this. No one save us but ourselves. No one can, no one may. We ourselves must walk the path. The story of your past does not have to equal the story of your life.